Okay, I'm back with part two of my of my wig preparation. So here's, you can see where I cut along the guideline. Again, just the backing. If you open this up, see the fur is still, the fur is still quite long on there. So we cut along the back there. And then on the other side, just kind of hacked a, a little bit of a semicircle. I kind of ran out of fabric here. It wasn't long enough to really make a nice curve, but that little edge isn't going to matter because, again, look at all the hair. Nobody's going to see that, so that's not a big deal. Then what I do to trim out the rest of it, again, when I got to the edge of the stitching, I just cut sideways, pulled off that excess. Same on this side, just cut sideways, pull that off. And then I take a pair of scissors to go about a quarter inch all the way around, but I try to cut just the backing. I try not to really mess too much with the fur. Um, you'll get to a point where the fur will kind of be in the way and you kind of got to do something with it. Um, but I try to leave as much of the fur as I can. Now this is one that I just finished a little bit ago. Let me see if I can, I'm going to flip it inside out so you can see. Ooh, brown fuzz is flying everywhere. Okay, so this is one I did a little while ago. Here's the back with my little kind of semi-circle. And then I cut around the top edge, flip it over. There's my, there's my design in the front that I followed the edges. And again, cut around the top. I kind of do, instead of doing them together, like cut the front one, flip it over, cut the backing on the back one, and then the fur will just kind of pull apart. So let's flip this over again. Once you're done doing that, you can flip it right side out. And there we go. Now, obviously, it's not all combed and pretty and whatever, but let's grab our baby and I'll put her... I'll put it on her. I'm working on two of them right now. This is the larger, oh, the larger six by 10. I don't know if she's gonna cooperate. She's kind of big. All right, setting you down again. I'm gonna pop this wig on her head. Apparently I need an extra set of hands when I do videos. One is just not enough. Okay, so now keep in mind, <laughs> she needs to have a little bit of a trim, a trim and a brush. But anyhow, here she is with her wig. Looks pretty good. And then what I do is I actually stitch the wig to her head. I just roll a little bit of the wig up so that you can see the backing again and start at one side and take a little stitch of her wig, a little stitch of her face, a little stitch of her wig. And when you're done and you lay this back down, you won't see that stitching. So I do that along the front from like ear to ear. And then I also do it along the back. And then that's my boy. This room is such a mess. So that is going to be my six by 10 bell um, for a little girl named Isabel. And she's going to, she's going to get her hair smoothed out a little bit, get a uh, red ribbon in her hair and a red rose. So um, anyhow, that's how I do my, my wigs. Hopefully that'll help. They're very easy. They're a little fiddly, but not really. So give them a shot. All right. Thanks. Bye.